Welcome to Level Up with CMJ. Hey, my name is Joe, and this is my Craftsmaster Dice Shooting Journey. Let's make it yours, too. So today we're just going to go through the mechanics of stuff, and then we'll go into our, our target training. This is the green belt. We have one more session left this week, and then we have all of next week to finish up for green belt before we move on to blue belt. So grab your dice out, let's practice along today, and let's get our dice training going. So we're just gonna go through, we're just gonna set uh, each one of our six dice sets that we have. So all of our white, yellow, orange, and green belt dice sets, there's six of them. And we're just gonna go through, we're gonna set each one of them uh, two times. So we're gonna go five, four, five, four, hardway set. And then get into your dice grip and into your stance or into your shooting position. Now we'll go one, two, two, three. Get into your dice grip, and then your shooting position. Make sure that you're square, make sure they're tight together. Then we'll go to the five, four, two, three, which is an all seven set. Get into your grip and your position. Now we'll go to our three V set, which is the three, two, Three six, so three V, and we'll go into our two V, which is the two one two four. And this is good practice here, guys. Um, and then we'll go into our 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 mid level all sevens, which is the one two six five. Get into our grip and throw in position. Okay, and we'll do this repeat again. So we got our base set, which is our 5 4 5 4 hardway set. And let's see if we can go through a little bit faster this time. We have our 1 2 2 3. We have our 5 4 2 3. And this is just working to get into these smoothly. Three, two, three, six, which is three V. So working in getting it smooth so that way we are comfortable doing this at the craps table. Two, one, two, four. And the final one is the twelve sixty five. Guys, go through these, you know, practice this. Get it down smooth so that way when you get to the table, this is one less thing that you need to worry about. Now what we're going to do is, is try to break everything down step by step by step. Like I said, today we're going to go through the mechanics of stuff. So we already did our dice setting. We already did our dice grip. Let's work on getting it into position. So let's go to our base set, which is our 5-4 five, four, five, four set. So we got all this down. Now make sure that your feet are in a proper position. So if you're throwing from stick left one and you're throwing down to the end of the table, make sure that your right foot is back and you can almost point your toe in that direction. So that way when you are shooting, it will be pointed that way. Your arm is either gonna be on top of the tray, the chip tray, just on the inside of the table by the chip tray, or you can put your hand down on the chip tray and brace up. But any way that you decide to do it, make sure that you're bracing up to the table and that you have a sturdy base. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come up and bring your hand, bring your hand so that way it is square with the back wall. So that's all we're gonna do is just gonna break it down from our, our position here. And keep in mind when you have your dice in the grip down here, make sure you have a very, very, very light grip. Make sure that your fingers are just barely touching the wall. And we're gonna work on the coming forward and bringing the dice so they're square in at the release point. Okay. 
make sure that you're not throwing a backswing in. And if you are, that it's in line so everything goes and releases straight when you get to the top position. Okay, and then I'm going to move my level here a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come up, and once you get to that top position, your square position, you're just going to release the thumb. So that way the dice will roll off your fingertips and they will go through the air square. So we're going to come starting position, come up, release that thumb. Okay, go back to the 5454 five, hardware set. And we're going to start here, go up, release that thumb. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start throwing in uh, some fluency. So we're going to bring it up. And we're going to get it to that release point. But instead of stopping, we're going to release that thumb as the hand is moving. So get into our base set. In your throne position, foot back, looking down towards the end of the table, bring it up and not stopping and releasing with that thumb. We'll do one more. Okay, let me collect the dice in. Okay, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to bring that height tool in. And remember that the height tool is at the halfway point, minus three inches. So I'm shooting from 107 inches away. That's about nine feet from the back wall. So we're at that halfway point, plus we brought it back three inches. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our hardway set again. Make sure that you have a proper grip. You're set up properly on a table, fingers lightly touching the dice, fingers lightly touching the table. Your foot is back. You're braced up against the table, so you have a very good base. Now we're just going to throw it so it just barely clears that line. And our goal is to keep those dice together so they fly tight or as tight as possible in the air. Um, When you do this properly, the energy that's stored in the dice should be minimal because this is at the optimal height, the apex, the optimal apex at that midpoint with the string. And that way they should hopefully land very close to the back wall and they're going to keep very little energy and they won't kick off that far. They're going to stay right down tight towards that wall. So I'll do a couple more like this. So this is with the height tool. Again, good position. Foot is, right foot is back. Just clear that string and get it to land at the end of the table. And if you look at the dice when they're flying through the air, they're going relatively the same as far as the revolutions are going. So they're spinning at the same rate. They're staying close together. They're not really splitting far near. And the reason they're not splitting is because I'm not pushing with that thumb. I'm releasing with that thumb, and they're rolling off the fingertips. Now we had a little bit slower revolution, a little bit slower spin, which I'm fine with, because they were both going at the same spin, same speed. And that was terrible because I pulled it. I released a little too late and I pulled it to the right. And I hit the mixing bowl and then they took off on me. So that's stuff that you need to watch for. That's stuff that you need to look for. Things that we need to correct as we are doing our throws. And it's not going to be perfect every single time. But our goal is to get it down so we are getting more and more consistent every single time that we throw the dice.
Okay, so we got our, our height training in. We, we worked on our release. We were working on releasing that thumb, trying to get the dice to go down evenly. Now let's take the tool out and let's just do it without the tool now. And again, our goal is to keep those dice tight so they land together square at the, towards the end of the table. And actually, let's do this one. So let's take out that laser level. And let's set that up. So that way we can sh throw it down towards that line. Hopefully you guys can see that on the video there. So our goal is to get it down and to touch that line at the end of the wall. Again, so they're just barely touching the wall. And when they do touch the wall, we're trying to do it in an upward motion. Terrible, 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 terrible job. That again, I pulled. So that's one habit that I need to break myself is that pulling. So when I pull, what happens is the, d the dice veer off to the right. And that tells me that I'm releasing actually a little bit too late. And my arm is not going straight when I, when I throw them. That was a good one. I stayed on axis, four, two, six. So you're gonna throw these down here eh, five to 10 times like this before we move on to the green belt specific stuff. I went on a little bit to the right, both dice still on axis, I had a single pitch, three, two, five. So make sure you break it down. You work on those mechanics. That was a good one. And five, three, eight. I was watching last night uh, the same bet channel with um, Mudslide Mac did his throw for their throwing competition. And his first throw, he had 22 tosses before he had a seven out, which is a pretty good benchmark. And that's gonna be a very tough one to beat. I'm sure there will be people that will beat it, but it's gonna be tough to get up to that point. Good, now we're getting that Thrown down straight, two, two, four, hard four. So both on axis, both came out with the hard way. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and we're gonna work on sensitivity training. So we'll turn the laser level off again, conserve the batteries, and we're just gonna work on distancing now. We're gonna start at the stick right three position, get into our grip and just throw it just so they barely hit the table. This is the George distance drill that we're doing. And the goal is so that way we can judge our distance better, more appropriately when we're at the table. Because remember, every table that you play at in the casino is different. They have different bounces, they have different sizes. Um, some casinos will have the small little 10 footer. Um, most, a lot of them will have a 12 footer. It would probably be at least half, if not a little bit more than half. And then they have the 14 footers and the 16 footers. So you're going to have to get used to throwing at different distances. Again, with this George distance drill, you're going to go at stick right three. You're going to do three to ten throws. You step over to stick right two. And you do another three to ten throws. And all we're doing is just trying to throw it down so it just barely bounces off that back wall. And as far down the wall as possible is better. I'll do one more and then we'll go to stick right one. Good. And we'll go to stick right one. Okay. 
And the goal is to get them down so they're almost touching the back wall when they come to rest. And that way they're not bouncing all around the table. You can have a lot more control over the dice if you can minimize the amount of energy that is in the dice when they come off that back wall. So every throw that you're doing here, I'm trying to get it so they land two inches or less from that wall when they come to rest. And preferably the dice are within a few inches from each other also on the, on the, on the tabletop. Then we're going to slide down the stick left one. And we're going to still work on our sensitivity training and our, on our minimal energy training. And that one was a little bit too long. And this is why we do the different distances. So that way we can practice getting them down, getting that distance down, practice getting used to judging that distance. That was a good throw. Kind of went towards the corner a little bit, but that was right there. Do one more, and then we're going to get out our targets. And we're going to start with the six inch target. Okay, now we're going to turn that laser glove on. We'll get that target out. And we'll go with the six inch target to start off with. And again, we're going to do, eh. 5, 10, 15, somewhere on there until we feel comfortable with the dice. The target is going to be flat on the table. It's going to be about an inch, inch and a half away from the table. And we'll go with our hard way set. And get in a good uh, shooting position again. So if the dice are not good, set them down. Get them back, they should be tight, square, right foot back, braced up against the table, and land your right on the target, and coming back, four, four, eight, square pair. So today's about the mechanics, breaking it down. Tomorrow we're gonna go through, and we're gonna do our 50 throws again, and we'll, record it with our chips so that way we can kind of see what's what kind of results we're getting and again good morning Beth and again this is going to um help give you some confidence in what you're throwing you can start identifying your strong numbers your, your numbers that you're consistently rolling or that are above the average number. So we're going with the hard way set here, six inch target. Goal is to get it down to try to land in that target when they come down. I was a little bit short, a little bit to the left. And then bounce up, hit the back wall and come back down with minimal energy and try to land as close as that to that target as possible when they come to rest. Yeah, dice hit and then they crossed. That was kind of a weird landing. Go oh, two more here, and then we'll go to the smaller target, to the four and a half inch target. And remember, we're throwing from about nine feet away. Five, five, hard ten. So on axis, and they stayed on axis. Got a hard way. Last one here. We'll go to the smaller target. And see how that's happening now, guys. I'm hitting the target. It's it's coming up in the wall, and they're landing right back by the target or on the target. Three, two, five. Let's go to the smaller target now, the four and a half inch. 
And again, it's going to be about an inch to inch and a half away from the back wall. The laser level goes right down the center of the target. And our goal is to do the same again now. So we're going to try to get it down there. We're going to try to hit the target before it hits the wall and try to get the dice to land as close as we can to that target when they come to rest. Went off a little bit to the right, three, two, five. Both dice stayed on axis. So good dice set, good dice grip. Barely touching the dice. Fingers are barely touching the table. You're braced up against the table. Right foot back. Release with that thumb, and they landed short, but they still came up, hit the wall. We still stayed on axis at two, two, four, hard four. Mike from On Point craps. Again, like I said, tomorrow we're going to go through. We're going to do our fifty throws again. So we can record to see how they do. Another hard way, three, three, six, hard six. So we're getting some consistency here, so that's good to see. One, one. Not the hard way we're looking for, but it is a 1-1, one, one, so we have three hard ways in a row. <laughs> and the reason we're not looking for that, because if you look at the dice set here, guys, 5-4, five, 5-4, four, five, four, that means one exploded and one imploded. But we still got a hard way. <laughs> Guess it counts. Not what we're looking for, though. And we have a 516, still an inside number. The right dice did implode. Let's go through two or three more throws here and we'll go over to our homework corner. Terrible, terrible, terrible throw. Got a good result though, 516. The reason I was terrible is that my left dice stuck and then it took off when it went out of the finger. So they did not go down the table even. Six, four, hard, or easy 10. And guys, that does happen where the dice stick to your fingers occasionally, and there's different things that you can do for that. Um, some people just take their fingers and they rub it on the table, and that's what I do a lot of times. You can use your shirt if you want. Um, different things like that. You know, just make sure that you you don't have moisture on your fingers because that does tend to impede your dice throwing. I know I took a cruise a while back, and that was one of the things that I had a lot of problems with was the humidity in the air and how the dice were sticking three, two, five on axis, single pitch, but the dice were sticking. So I, I did a lot of that. You know, every time before I picked up the dice, I would rub my hands on the table. Um, I know some people don't like to do that, but that is an option. So last throw here. And they both landed on there. We have a hard four, two, two, hard four. So it was a good throw to have for our last throw. So let's go to our homework corner here. And let's talk about what we need to do today to work on our practice. So, you know, obviously, do your warm-ups and your stretches ahead of time. You can find those in the white belt level video. 
Um, and then we're going to work on our mechanics today. So you're going to go through your dice sets. Go through all six dice sets. Go through them twice. So we start off with the 5 4 5 4 hardware set. We go to the 1 2 2 3. And then we go to the 5 4 2 3. The 3 2 3 6, which is the 3V set. The 2 1 2 4 dice set, which is the 2V dice set. And then the 1265, which is our second all seven set. We, so we go through that order twice. And that just gets the fingers moving, gets the blood going, gets your coordination down, your hand-eye coordination down, so that way you can practice setting the dice. And then after you're done with that, you're going to get the laser level out. Uh, actually, before that you do that, we're going to break the mechanics down. So you're going to, you know, you worked on the grip, you got the, your, your your shooting position down, you put that right foot back, and then we're going to start working on the release. So we're going to start at the, at the table, bring our hand up in the air, and make sure that the hand is square before you release the dice. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the laser level out, throw the dice on the table 5 to 10, 5 to 15 times, um, and make sure that you're trying to throw it straight down the table. So in other words, we're trying to get it right in line with that laser level that's pointed at the back of the table. Once you get that down comfortably, we're going to bring out the throwing height tool and make sure that it just barely clears that, that line and, and the dice stay close together. So we're going to do about five to ten of those for today's practice. We'll push the height throwing tool aside, and then we're going to go to the... Uh, laser level and a target at the end of the table and then with the target at the end of the table we're going to be going and we're going to try to get the dice so they land inside the target as close as we can inside the target they bounce up hit the wall and then come back down and hopefully land in the target now today I did not get any Dice where both of them landed in, but I had multiple ones where one dice went off the target a little bit and the other one did land right on the target. So that is the ultimate goal is to get them both to land in there, but that is very, very, very difficult, especially to do on a consistent basis. So I see that Biff says you keep a piece of chalk in a small cheesecloth wrap and keep those in your pocket to keep your fingers dry. Uh, that may work. I question sometimes whether that's a valid thing because you don't want to introduce anything foreign to the table. Um, you don't want to make sure, you know, that they think you're cheating. Remember that, you know, try to keep everything as honest as you can. Um, try to keep everything on the up and up. Uh, if you do that and you get away with it, I guess that's your thing. Um, I know there are people that do do that. I personally would not um, just for that simple reason. But Thanks for the su suggestion. Uh, don't let the powder accumulate. Well, again, that's your call. Um, but anyhow, guys, make sure you go through your homework. Make sure you do your practice for the dice shooting today. Um, my name is Joe, and this is my Craps Master Dice Shooting Journey. What's making yours?